Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Faulkner, the building principal, and I am going to read a book called Salt in His Shoes. And if you look here, it says Michael Jordan and Pursuit of a Dream. And I'm also looking down here where it talks about, um, it tells who the author is. And it says the author is Dolores Jordan with Rosalind M. Jordan. So I'm wondering when I see that, hmm, is there some connection to who the book's about and to the author? So we'll see. Salt and his shoes. Michael loved to play basketball. Every Saturday, he followed his older brothers, Larry and Ronnie, to the park, hoping that they would let him play. And if one of the guys who usually played with them didn't show, they always let him play. But there was one problem, and his name was Mark, and he was the tallest boy on the court. What's the matter, Mikey? Too short? Mark flapped his arms in front of Michael's face. Over here, shouted Larry. But when Michael threw the ball, Mark's long arms came out of nowhere and knocked the ball, the ball away. It flew into the hands of a player on Mark's team. He made the basket and the game was over, just like that. So you can see this must be Mark here and he definitely looks a lot bigger than Michael. When I'm really sorry, guys. If I were taller, that wouldn't have happened. All the way home, Michael would apologize, even though no one was mad at him. His oldest brother, Ronnie, tried to cheer him up. Look, little brother, you played good today. Don't worry, we'll win next time. So nice that his brother is being positive with him. When they got home, Michael went into the kitchen where Mama was cooking dinner. He was still sad and disappointed, and she could tell. You guys lost again today, huh? Michael nodded. He sat quietly for a minute. Then said, Mama, how can I grow taller? Mm. Now, Mama knew the answer to a lot of questions, but this was a tough one. She thought for a moment as she sprinkled salt and pepper on the chicken she was making for dinner. Mm. Then she smiled, looked at Michael and said, salt. Salt? Michael looked at his mama. Salt in your shoes. We'll put salt in your shoes and say a prayer every night. Before you know it, you'll be taller, she replied. I wonder if that really works. I would like to be a little bit taller. Salt in my shoes? Michael said quietly to himself. Surely Mama was teasing. He sat staring out the window, trying to figure out how salt was going to help him grow. He noticed the rose bushes outside in Mama's garden. They had grown high along the fence, and roses of all colors were blooming on the vines. He thought to himself, I remember when Mama first planted those bushes. Michael's face lit up. If mama knows how to make those rose bushes grow, then maybe she's right. Maybe salt in my shoes really will help me grow. On this page, we can see he's thinking. You see him scratching his head, and you can see his eyes kind of looking like he's thinking really hard. Growing more excited. Michael twirled around and started asking lots of questions. Mama, how long will it take? 
And how tall do you think I'll get? Smiling, Mama sat down next to him and explained, in order for this to work, the most important things you have to do are be patient and listen to what I tell you and say your prayers every night. Listening carefully, Michael shook his head. Okay, Mama, I'll be patient. But what does saying my prayers have to do with it? Everything, Mama replied as she hugged him. Now go wash up and tell your brothers and sisters to get ready for dinner. Michael dashed out the kitchen, almost knocking over his father, who was walking in. What's he up to now? asked Daddy. Oh, the usual, Mama laughed, chasing a dream. I really like how Mama doesn't let him give up on his dreams. She doesn't seem like she ever tells him that he can't do something. Because if we put our minds to it, we definitely can. Later during dinner, Mama noticed that Michael was barely eating anything. She was He was already daydreaming about being taller. Michael, first things first, you won't grow if you don't eat, especially your vegetables. But I'm not really hungry, he said, raising her eyebrows. Mama gave him a stern look. Slowly, Michael picked up his fork and began to eat. Minutes later, his plate was clean and he was asking for more. That evening at bedtime, Michael set his favorite game shoes on the floor next to the growth chart hanging on the wall. Then he put on his pajamas, said his prayers, and jumped into bed. Mama came in. Michael was fast asleep. By the look on his face, she could tell he was already playing basketball in his dreams. Standing by his bed, Mama sprinkled salt in his shoes. Then she prayed quietly over him, as she did all of her children. Oh, looky there, she's putting the salt in his shoes. Please help Michael to be the best he can be and to give his best in all that he does. And could you please make him just a little bit taller tomorrow than he is today? Thank you, Mama prayed. After that night, Michael wore his favorite game shoes everywhere he went, even to church. And he stopped going to the park with his brothers on Saturdays. Instead, he stayed home and practiced. He wanted to grow a few more inches before he went back to the park. He is chasing his dreams. He is practicing, 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 which is what it takes to be good at anything. After two months of practicing and waiting patiently and praying, Michael stood next to the, to the growth chart on the wall. Nothing. He hadn't grown even an inch. He was disappointed, but he did not stop believing. I've just got to give it time, like Mama said, Michael thought to himself. And that's what he did. Two more months of practicing went by. Still nothing. Now Michael was becoming a little sad. Not only had he not grown one inch, but he also missed playing basketball with Larry and Ronnie. About the only thing he didn't miss was being picked on by Mark. When the next Saturday came, his brothers tried to get Michael to go with them to the park, but he wouldn't budge. Mama had begun to worry. When she saw Michael sitting all alone on the steps, she said to Daddy, maybe she, you should go out and talk to him. Oh, look at his face there. You can tell he's very disappointed, and he's hugging that basketball. So you can tell basketball is very important to him. So Daddy went out and sat with Michael. What's wrong, son? You haven't gone to the park with your brothers for a while now. You okay? Michael didn't say anything at first. Then he looked at Daddy and said, 
I thought I would at least be a few inches taller by now. I did everything Mama told me to do, but nothing's happened. Michael, do you want to be taller? Daddy asked. If I were taller, I'd be a great player, and I could help our team win, Michael answered. But you are a great player, son, and you already have everything it takes to be a winner. Right in here. And Daddy tapped Michael on the chest. Being taller may help you play a little better, but not, mu not as much as practice, determination, and giving your best. Those are the things that make you a real winner. Michael thought about what Daddy said for a minute. Then suddenly he jumped up and took off. Where are you going, Daddy yelled. I've got a game today, and I'm late, Michael yelled back. So it sounds like Daddy's telling him that he just needs to continue to work hard. When Michael reached the park, the game had already started. He sat on the bench, hoping he would get a chance to play, and he did. The game was almost over, and the score was tied when John, one of the guys on Michael's team, fell, and he hurt himself. Here was Michael's chance. Michael joined his team in the huddle as they gathered on the sideline for a timeout. Okay, the game is tied. All we need is one point. Who wants to take the shot, Ronnie asked. He looked in Michael's direction. Feeling more confident than ever, Michael said, I'll do it. <coughs> When the whistle blew and the game began again, Michael, Mark began to pick on Michael as usual. Still trying to play with the big boys, huh? Mark taunted. But Michael paid him no attention. Taller or not, he had been practicing, and today he was determined to win. Larry threw the ball inbounds to Michael. Michael caught it, bounced it for a moment, and then took off running. <clears throat> As he approached Mark, Michael shifted to his right. Mark followed. But while he was shifting, Michael spun to his left. He stepped behind Mark and shot. The ball arced far above his opponent's hands and, <clears throat> and fell silently through the hoop. Two points. The game was over. Michael's team had won. It was just as Michael had dreamed. When he realized what he had done, Michael took off running and didn't stop until he had reached home. Hmm. I wonder why he ran home. I feel like he may be wanting to tell someone special or maybe a couple special people what he had done. Bursting through the door, he shouted, I did it, Daddy, I did it. I shot right over the tall guy's head, and we won the game. Running in behind him, Ronnie and Larry joined the celebration. That's right, little brother, you did it. You won the game for us. Michael remembered the look that Ronnie gave him during the last time out of the game and said, no, we won the game, but I was the star. They all laughed. After that day, Mama stopped putting salt in Michael's shoes, but Michael did not stop being patient and working hard and praying. So that must be what made Michael grow to be a six foot, six inch tall basketball superstar. And I think if you look closely, you all can probably recognize who that is. But if not, that is Michael Jordan, the awesome NBA player. And if you ask Mrs. Burnett, she will tell you he is the all-time 
greatest basketball player ever. So on this back page, it tells us a little bit about who Dolores Jordan and Rosalind Jordan are. And remember, when I first introduced the book, I told you those were the names of the authors. So it says Dolores Jordan is Michael's mother. And Rosalind Jordan is Michael's sister. So pretty neat. This is a story, Salt in His Shoes, about Michael Jordan and what really happened with him when he was growing up. He wanted to be a great basketball star. He didn't start off um, as a great. He was good, but not great. He had to practice, practice, and practice. His mom and his sister wrote a story about his life growing up and dreaming of playing basketball. <clears throat>